Last month's electricity prices in France fell to record lows. When I say record lows, I mean the lowest they've been for four years. Six, six nuclear power plants were turned off and one new nuclear power plant has now been cancelled. Now, this is a country, France, who's all in on nuclear power. But here's the thing. Electricity prices, even though these nuclear power plants are being turned off, I read record lows. In fact, electricity went into the negative territory in France. Therefore, all these power reactors were turned off because electricity is simply too expensive from these nuclear power plants. And there is a reason why this is all happening. It's because of renewable energy. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. Now, speaking of solar, solar is a huge, huge part of the reason for this surge in renewable energy in the country or in France and all across Europe, in Germany, even more so. But a lot of people are getting solar installed on their roofs and that is contributing significantly to the decline in electricity costs in France. Now, there's this narrative being spread by a lot of many parts of the media and by many, to be honest, uneducated morons on Facebook and social media saying that Renewables are making energy more expensive, where in fact, the complete opposite is the case. Now, for me personally, I've been able to almost eliminate my electricity costs pretty much by installing a solar system on my roof. And the cost of solar is so, so cheap. Now, if you want to get installing, if you want to install solar on your roof, um, you can, if you want to, you can check out the company that I used, which I think from my research is the best solar company in Australia. I'll put a link in the description below to them. And they apparently will give you a bit of a discount if you uh, mention me essentially now guys getting back to solar in france it's being deployed at record levels and that is meaning along with wind and batteries that power prices are hitting record lows and nuclear power plants in fact they're hitting uh here we go day ahead prices turn negative trading at four-year lows the edf halts three reactors plans to take three more offline and one one that was basically planned to be built in the future has what's well, now been cancelled. This is this is really the future that Tony Sieber predicted would happen. And I know a lot of things that Sieber, Tony Sieber says, people think, oh, that's not going to happen. That's ridiculous. Well, that's what people said about this. Yeah. I mean, that's what people are still, people are still sending me emails all the time saying, oh, here's the reasons why nuclear are needed. I'm getting emails from people saying there's going to be a major volcanic eruption. It's going to cover all the world's solar panels. Um, there's all kinds of things. Therefore, we must have nuclear power plants. There's all kinds of things, but there's all kinds of reasons why nuclear doesn't make financial sense. Now, speaking of nuclear being scrapped, um, there is a fully government-owned uh, power company in France, and they are facing potential bankruptcy because of delays and massive cost overruns for their new latest generation large-scale nuclear power plants. Uh, they've been working on designs, though, for small modular nuclear reactors for f four and a half years now. And they've been given literally billions of dollars from the from the French government, and they're facing bankruptcy. They're basically, the French government saying, yeah, even though we own this company, it's technically state-owned, government-owned, there's still a company. And if you guys go bankrupt because you simply can't produce these small modular nuclear reactors, if you're just going to keep stalling and it's going to take forever, then, well, basically, we have to cut... We have to cut this off. We have to say sunk cost bias, not worry about that and just move on because renewables are simply much more logical. Speaking of the cost of solar as well, one of the key reasons why nuclear power prices, well, nuclear power plants are being turned off is because solar is so incredibly cheap. But not only that, I think people are not recognizing the fact that many countries now are installing batteries. So rather than waste so much solar during the middle of the day between you know 9 a.m. and about 5 p.m., people are simply harnessing that extra energy that's going into the grid that's being or, or that's being wasted that's being turned off that's being um, curtailed they're harnessing that in batteries and then deploying it in the evenings previously fossil fuel companies or you know coal power plants nuclear power plants would say well haha you can't you can't actually solve the grid's issues because solar only goes during the day wind is intermittent but now renewable energy is saying well hold my beer because actually we've got all this extra solar it's being wasted this is, this is essentially free power. All we need is batteries to store that power. And then we can send all that extra power into the grid when we need it between about 6 p.m. 
to 9 or 10 p.m. in the evenings. Exactly what, like what has happened in California. This is the future of the planet. Tony Siebert predicted this. I think many experts now are seeing the writing on the wall. They're finally starting to say, you know what? It's true. Nuclear power is maybe not a good idea after all. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.